Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about organization. Uh, in the previous uh, module I mentioned that um, you obviously want to set goals and get focused. Uh, so that, that's basically what I'm going to talk about here. Um, pretty much what the two tools that I use are called Google Drive and Evernote. Those are my favorites. Um, I guess I'll show you Google Drive first and kind of how I've set it up. And I'm also going to link over to a, a kind of a basic template following along the same guidelines. Uh, you could just copy that and create your own Google Drive document and then um, go from there. <coughs> so let me see. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so here's a task list that I made. I called it my to-do list. And I kind of color code everything because it's just a little easier. So here are my description. You know, this is basically the description of the item I'm working on. Um, a priority, whether or not it's important or not. So high would obviously be really high priority. Low is not very important. And medium would be, you know, kind of in the middle. Um, I also have done other methods with this. Like when I mentioned in my other video, I did a, um, I kind of got my old boss involved in doing this. And he used to like to do it on a one to five scale in terms of priority. So like the ones would just be really not important, could be completely just like backed off. And five would be like, you really have to like work on that stuff next. Um, status, I usually just mark it as, um, you know, incomplete or uh, pretty much I'll start it as incomplete and then I'll move it into an in progress, which means I'm actually working on it. And then completed means I'm completely done. And then any comments, um, obviously in the next column and beyond that, I, if I had more comments on that, I may just like add it into an, a, a further comment. Like, you know, I've, I've done that with here. Like, you know, I mentioned that I needed to call LegalZoom about, um, basically registering my business and getting a reseller certificate so I could buy wholesale product. So I mentioned my note here and then over on the right here is a link to uh, the Massachusetts registration to get my reseller certificate. I just didn't want it all in the same comment. So that's just a way that you can do that uh, entirely up to you. Um, obviously with this I have all these different tasks. I mean it's kind of all over the place. Uh, another way that you could do it is organize it by uh, the type of items you have, like, you know, maybe social media or like WordPress design, uh, website design type stuff, um, promotion, advertising, uh, kind of split it up. It's however you choose to do it. Uh, with this particular list, I really just did everything kind of like, you know, as I thought of it and I would just add to it. Um, the other great part about Drive is you can do a share and you can share this with other people. Um, uh, like right now, I've got this shared with my girlfriend, Brendalyn, and this girl, Anna, who helps me out with with my site. So Anna can pop in here and make changes and edits or leave comments. And you can choose whether or not how much, you know, if you want them editing or just commenting. So th this is really a great platform to kind of set up your goals. I highly recommend um, basically using what I'm going to give you for sort of the homework each week and then um, creating your own to-do list items depending on what it is that you need to do. Uh, I'll show you Evernote real quick too. <clears throat> My Evernote's kind of a mess. Uh, if you've never used Evernote, it is very popular. Um, I've basically created, um, let me kind of shrink some of these down here. So I, basically you create what's called notebooks and then within those I've sort of dragged them out into different things like um, here's like my blog, uh, here's another website I worked on, uh, some niche sites that I have, things like that. Uh, training courses like where I've taken notes on different courses I've gone through and then I've got what I call goals and daily task list and in that I sort of have like my my house chores like checking bills every month um, short and longer term goals like things that aren't immediate but like things I'd like to see myself uh, doing within like years from now um, and then I've got a main to-do list um, and I usually just sort of um, you know, and here lately what I've been doing is every day I'll mark what day it is. So today when I'm recording this, it's November 2nd. So, you know, I made a note to myself that I'm buying some used um, snow tires from someone in a couple hours. I'm actually going to get a massage. I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, I've been doing this 30 day challenge thing. So I, I, I've been documenting that and making videos. Um, PayPal gave me some issues, uh, you know, like I want to do dishes. So obviously this is like a completely... Uh, skewed list of things that uh, I need to work on um, you know it could be a mix between chores and just like re whatever it is that you really need to get done um, this is how I do it and it, it's been really really effective for me um, especially 
since I've been actually doing this challenge I, I just mentioned here, I won't get into super detail on it, but it involves creating to-do list tasks every day. So I highly recommend doing that not only for this course, but also for uh, your own sort of benefit, just like regular chores and things that you do need to get done because it will help uh, significantly. I uh, hope this video is helpful, and if you have any questions on how to use these programs, I mean, there, there's tons of information out here on Evernote. There's, like, people who've written books on how to use it. Uh, I don't really think you need to do that, but um, I use it every day. Uh, I sync it to my cell phone, and I sync it to my work computer so I can keep myself pretty much um, posted on whatever it is I'm working on, regardless of where I'm, where I, where I am. Uh, talk to you later.